What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out a bunch of updates for its applications on Galaxy Store and I thought I should update you guys about this. Now these updates are currently available on the Galaxy S24 series and some of them might also come to the Galaxy S23 series. Now before we go ahead, if you're interested in this wallpaper, I have linked it in the description. Every video that I post will have a brand new wallpaper. If you like the wallpaper, you can go ahead, check out the description and download them. And if you're interested in this widget, uh, there are links available in the description to download these widget packs these are kwgt widgets which can be installed on your phone and if you want to know how to do that i did post a video about it yesterday i will link that also in the description go ahead and check that out now let's go ahead let's open the galaxy store and tap on this menu and tap on updates you see we have got about 20 updates available here now uh, majority of them are for the language packs uh, on the top we have got an update for samsung notes we don't see anything mentioned in the change log here this could be just a bug fix the latest version is 4.4.17.29 and the updated date is 26 march 2024 let me tap on update and let me just go back here now you can see we have got an update for photo editor as well under what's new it says bug fix so if you are uh, facing any challenges or any issues in photo editor or while editing the photos inside the gallery this update should fix that let me tap on update moving on to the next one we've got wallpaper and style when i tap on what's new you see again there are bug fixes for this now wallpaper and style is a default system application which enables us to set the wallpapers for the lock screen and home screen separately if there is any bugs or any issues that you're facing this update should fix uh, the wallpaper and style application uh, now here you can see we have got a bunch of language packs and in between we also have this application interpreter which is currently available on the S24 series and this is coming to the S23 series as well when we get One UI 6.1 probably in a week or two. Now uh, let me tap on interpreter. Now using this application we can interpret the language right here on the screen. This will be very useful if you're talking to somebody who uh, speaks a different foreign language. If you want to uh, translate their language or if you want to communicate to them yeah, uh, with your language and you want to translate it to their language you can do that using interpreter now uh, let me just quickly show you how this application works let's go to the uh, quick toggle here i've got the interpreter toggle here let me tap on this you see this is how the layout is it's very simple on both the sides we have got the mic option you can just tap on the mic to talk to the other person, the uh, language that you speak will be translated to their language depending on what you have selected. Now you see, I have selected English and I have selected Vietnamese here. Uh, whatever I speak here will get translated to Vietnamese on the other side. Hey, what's up? How are you doing today? You see, it picks up the language very quickly and translate it to the other language here. Now, if you want to communicate to the other person when he's standing opposite to you, you can just tap on this icon here to flip this uh, area. You can just hold the phone in front of him or her. Just talk in your language, it gets translated and uh, he or she will be able to read it very easily without you having to flip the phone on the other side. Fantastic, isn't it? Now, uh, here we can select a bunch of languages. When you tap on languages, you see we have got English, Hindi, French, Japanese, Vietnamese, which I've already added i can tap on add languages uh, we have got uh, more languages here like uh, german italian korean polish portuguese spanish uh, spanish united states spanish spain and thai now these languages are uh, available for translation for interpreter application and all of these languages are getting the update as well let me first go ahead and uh, update interpreter now let's go back now these are the language packs, all of them you can update so that you can use them on the interpreter or uh, this will also help you in uh, translating the language on the Samsung keyboard or any other areas where translation is available by default. Apart from these language packs, you can also see there is Samsung Intelligent Voice which also has got an update. Samsung Intelligent Voice Services, the system for connecting to the LLM server and Galaxy Advanced Intelligent Services in Samsung native applications. Uh, when Samsung native application requests Galaxy Advanced Intelligent Services, the system delivers the data and prompts that meets the request to the service providing LLM to process the contents. So you can see in the screenshot, the Samsung Intelligent Services will be used in different areas like on Samsung keyboard, during call translation, etc. This is a very important uh, option which has now got the update and i'm sure the bugs and everything will be fixed with this update so go ahead and update this as well and then you can also update all these languages 
just tap on update all to update all the applications all these app languages which have received the update now all these updates seems to be minor but these are very important updates uh, you should install so go ahead check the galaxy store tap on the menu and tap on updates you will get all these updates if it is available in your region go ahead and update them that's all i want to share with you guys uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead hit the subscribe button to become a part of apex community to know your phone better and if you find this video informational make sure to hit that like button as well thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye